And I've been thinking about you, girl. And I've been thinking about you, girl. I've been thinking about you, girl. And I've been thinking about you, girl. And I've been thinking about you, girl. And I've been thinking about you, girl. About you, girl. Yeah. I've been thinking about you, girl, and I've been thinking about you, girl. I've been thinking about you, girl, and I've been thinking about you, girl. And I've been thinking about you, girl, and I've been thinking about you, girl. About you, girl. You know, people like to think that nostalgia and regret are similar things. I mean, nostalgia is looking back at things you wish you were doing now, and regret is looking back at things you wish you didn't. Me? I don't look back at all. I don't regret any of it. I, uh... I... I forgot what I was going to say. It probably wasn't important anyway. I'm a bio major. I started off in English, but that's useless. And then I went into business to make my mom happy, but I think biology's my cause. I'm not too good with people. I'm better with their insides. That was weird. Sorry. This is the story of how I made my fortune, my empire. And if you follow these steps, you too could be living a lavish lifestyle of a low-tier drug dealer. Oh yeah, I forgot to say that. This is the story about how I became a drug dealer. Well. It's mostly about how I stopped being a drug dealer. Listen, if you want to get the ins and outs of the drug world, go watch Breaking Bad or something. This is my story. And this is where it starts. Well, this is where it starts. This is Jake. Uh-huh. Yeah. He's my uh, roommate and closest friend. Closest meaning he doesn't mind me rambling on and on about. All right, yeah, sounds good. Yeah, okay. Okay, I'll be there in a bit. What was I talking about? It, it doesn't matter. Let's get this show on the road. Jake's a public relations major stuck in a gen ed bio class for the second year in a row. I help him with homework, and he helps me with, uh... You know, I'm, I'm not really sure what Jake does, to be honest. I went to a party last night. Oh, cool. Cops showed up. Ambulance, too. Alcohol poisoning? No, actually, some dude took shrooms and fell out the window. <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> He's in the hospital, dude. Yeah, I bet. Jeez, dude, come on, that's not funny. Alright, alright, fine. I met a guy. Ooh, what's his name? Not like that. I met the guy who sold the shrooms. How much? What? How much was he selling them for? Like 15. Did you get your new boyfriend's number? Yeah. Text him. What? Text him. Fast forward about a week or so and Jake and I decide to take a little trip. I don't even feel anything. You literally just took them. Months of partying has denied Jake the one thing I have most of. Patience. Heavy drinking has warped him into a product of instant Instant, uh, oh shit.
One time, that was all it took. Not on the experience, no, I was hooked on the process. The money. Oh, the money is big, especially on college campuses. Kids would pay anything to distract themselves from schoolwork. I had found my newest hobby, gardening. Now, I had a little garden back home. Tomatoes. Winter killed them as soon as they started growing. Why would I even grow tomatoes? I don't even like tomatoes. Anyway, that doesn't matter. This is a different kind of gardening, because this was a different kind of plant. Imagine if those tomatoes were illegal and had the capacity to make you feel color. Crazy. So here I was in the library doing research, checking online forums and reading every botany book they had. Now, I've picked up a few benefits along the way in my biology degree. Doing favors, pulling strings. I have pretty much full access to most labs now. The sports are easy to buy. They're legal online. Crazy, right? So I start growing. At first, just basics. Testing them for potency and strength. Then I breed the good ones until I finally found it. The golden ticket. My secret recipe. Here's a tip. A good cap will bruise blue when you touch it. These? These bruise green. I call them 747s, like the plane. Cool, right? These are insane. I can sell them way less per order, keep a high supply, and charge whatever I want. Now, I just need to find some interested parties. What is this? They're shrooms. What do I do with it? You take them, dipshit. When? Whatever you want, I don't care. Listen, if you like them, come back and I'll give you more. Are we wearing the same jacket? Yeah. On sale? Yeah. Oh, cool. It's a nice jacket. I'll let you in on a trade secret. Don't trust anyone. I'm the grower, distributor, and sole stakeholder in this company. Here's another secret. Never let a trail lead back to you. Here's how I did it. First, I would place the delivery in a secret, undisclosed location. Then, I'd meet up with the customer, have them transfer money via PayPal, and tell them where I hid it. Pretty genius, right? But orders started getting bigger. 747s had spread around this campus like, well, a fungus. Now, let me take some time to explain this shit to you. It messes you up. You hallucinate for about six hours, eight if you're hydrated. Things, they're going great. They're going great. They're going great. G-R-E-A. Things are not going well. It took about six weeks for some idiot to take triple the amount and jump out a third story window. Why do these kids want to fly so bad? Well, why don't you just take a jet blue or something? Anyway, I gotta lay low until Campus PD calls off the investigation. Everything will be fine. Fuck! Shit! It's the cops! God damn it! Shit! 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 shit. Step one: get rid of all the evidence. Step two: hide. The cops don't know it's me. They know enough to think I'm suspicious. Clean getaway, no traces of 747s anywhere, no fingerprints, no jail time. I'm free. Do I regret it? No. Am I nostalgic? Not really. You know, people will say those two things are different, but nostalgia is just the product of regret. You only remember the good parts. Or rather, the parts you make good. I remember the money. It was nice for a while. Made enough money to buy books for next semester. Did some experiments. A little farming. Who knows? I may take it up again sometime. Probably after I graduate. You know what they say about the mushroom farmer? He's a fun guy. Get it? It's, it's funny. It's funny because like he's a mushroom farmer and like fun. It... Fuck you.
been thinking about you, girl, and I've been thinking about you, girl. I've been thinking about you, girl, and I've been thinking about you, girl. And I've been thinking about you, girl, and I've been thinking about you, girl. About you, girl. I've been thinking about you, girl, and I've been thinking about you, girl. I've been thinking about you, girl, and I've been thinking about you, girl. And I've been thinking about you, girl, and I've been thinking about you, girl. About you, girl.